Day four, ended up Jacksonville, Florida, headed to a skate park, Kona Skate Park. I've been there already, so I kind of already knew what to expect. As soon as we walked in the door, this cement section of the park just looked ridiculous. Concrete snake runs straight out of the 70s. One of the most just massive, crazy concrete places ever. I had a, like a, a pool, like something I've been dreaming to ride. It looked super good, and then they had a little street course and a mini ramp. Everything down below. Everyone seemed to be pretty excited when we got there and saw what there was. Day four, Kona, pretty wild park. Pretty amazing, just watching everyone bust on the hips. There was a great hip that we sessioned for a while. Nate was just boosting the hips going to the sky. I loved it, I couldn't get myself off it. Ron was doing awesome one-footed flatties. They weren't very flat, but they are one-footed. <laughs> he put me on his shit list today, so he's getting it. I ice picked uh, extension like out of the bowl that I was pretty happy about because I had been sweating it since the last time I was there. Primus destroyed the sub box there like I felt like it was shady and he just did everything you could possibly do on it. Primus does whatever he wants whenever he wants. Did a 450 double peg on the sub. I don't even know where to start with that guy on the ramp. The sub was awesome. I loved it. Dave Primus came so close to pulling the tail up to ice pick on the sub box. I was like halfway on my way to, just to congratulate him and he just somehow fell. I don't even know how he fell. I'm working for Jay now. I got a clock to the footy. 
The sub box was officially cancelled after the session. Joe Tizio doing all ice pick variations. X up, grind, kick flip out, ice pick grind, a bar spin out. Tizio doing kick flips out of ice picks and then Smith grind a bar spin. That was really good. Me and Van were riding the mini ramp, really fun mini ramp. Van was doing look back, click, turn downs and 360 turn downs and it was just a Great session, everyone had a blast. I tried this gap like over the vert ramp into this little tranny. Van did a big old disaster, gap to disaster on the vert ramp that was pretty cool. I just gave him points for even monster trucking it and staying on. I don't know, I didn't feel like I could get enough speed, so I just kind of let the gap win. At least it didn't totally take me out. John Heaton was trying uh, backflip to ice pick on a bench on, this, on the mini. Like, he got the feeble. Those guys are nuts. Nate Wessel did one of the craziest gaps I've ever seen. Like, Wessel just jumped up on this roof. Jumped out of this bowl, had to be 12 feet up onto this weird roof. Jumped off the back of it. It was so high, ridiculous. It's kind of like almost jumping over a house. He just always comes up with the stupidest things. Like, what? You gotta be kidding. These guys are just doing tricks you'd only see in video games. Van did one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. We were talking about jumping this snake run thing, and obviously I said, hell no, it's all you. Just instead of using the snake run, he just decided to go over the whole thing. Seriously, the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Gapped over the snake run, and he tabletopped it, and then he tail whipped it. Since he can jump a gap a certain distance, and then he can also do tail whips, that he can just do tail whip over the same gap. I think it launched me. I don't know, it doesn't really make sense to me, but apparently it does to him because it works. He looked about as high as I jump on my motocross bike. I don't even understand what he was doing. I don't think I've seen a tail whip that big in a long time. Uh, it was amazing. If you can tail whip and you can do a 30-foot gap, then you can tail whip a 30-foot gap. Collins back in the saddle, jock strap in full effect. I had to go get a jock strap and a cup. I'm kind of running a, a tight setup to keep anything from shaking around. And I'm on disc two of driver two. <laughs> video game. My thumbs are getting pretty sore, but I'm sure I'm going to finish that game out by the time this trip is up.